What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, Samsung has started rolling out the One UI 6.1 update for the Galaxy S22 series. This is the S22 Ultra I've got here. I have already got the update and I have already posted a video about all the brand new features that we have received on this phone. And in this video, I thought I will just quickly review this update on the S22 Ultra and share my thoughts about that. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in this particular wallpaper that you're seeing here, I will leave a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and download it every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can go ahead and check all my previous videos and download some brilliant wallpapers if you're interested. Now let's dive right into the video. Now after updating the phone, the first thing I did was the factory reset. Yes, I did factory reset this phone so that this phone can perform better. I've been using this phone for quite a while now and there were a lot of uh, applications installed on the phone and there will be a lot of cache memory and uh, loads of stuff inside the gallery which might be slowing this phone. And I was experiencing a lot of stutter and lag on this phone before the update uh, so I did a factory reset right after updating the phone. Now after the reset the phone is running really really smooth the animations are amazing on One UI 6.1 and uh, the stutters and lags are gone on this phone so far I had not noticed any stutters or lags on this phone. I updated the phone day before yesterday evening and I've been using it for more than a day now and I'm in a position to tell you that there is no lags or stutters on this device now. And the most important part is the battery performance. Now I am testing the battery performance on this phone. It might take a day or two for me to uh, post the uh, battery test results on the S22 Ultra after the One UI 6.1 update. But right now I can say that it is performing very well. I have charged the phone to 100% today morning and I started the real life battery test. And now it's uh, 12 p.m. and I can see about one and a half uh, hours of screen on time. And right now you see the battery is currently at 87%. Looks like the battery performance has improved but I will only be able to tell you the results after I do a complete test, I'm yet to play the games, I'm yet to use the camera on the phone, uh, yet to make some calls. So uh, it's going to take the entire day uh, to do a complete test and let's see how far it's going to go. I'm expecting at least about six to six and a half hours of screen on time on a moderate usage. Let's wait and see that. now. Uh, did we get all the features uh, from the S24 Ultra? No, we didn't. Even on the S23 Ultra, we did not get all the features. Samsung did skip some of the important features for the S23 Ultra and uh, the same thing happened on the S22 Ultra as well. But in addition to the S23 Ultra skipped features, we did lose a couple of more features on S22 Ultra. Let me just list it out for you. The first feature which is missing is the lock screen wallpaper on always on display. When we set AOD on the S24 Ultra, we get an option to set the full screen always on display with the wallpaper which is missing on both the S23 series as well as the S24 series. The next feature which is missing is the photo ambient wallpaper. By setting this feature we will get to see uh, the weather conditions. Uh, it's a dynamic wallpaper which changes its graphics according to the uh, weather condition and this feature has not arrived on the S22 as well as the S23 series. Now apart from this the S22 did lose a couple of more features. One is the slow motion video. When you press and hold on a particular video uh, in the gallery you will be able to see the video in slow motion. The AI is going to fill up the frames to make it look smoother and that feature is missing on the S22 Ultra but on the S23 Ultra we did get that feature and then the last feature which is missing on the S22 Ultra is the aura cost for uh, broadcasting the audio from the device. Uh, we will be able to start a broadcast of audio from a, a device if you have aura cost feature. Even that is missing on the S22 series but uh, this feature is not that important. However, the video slow motion feature should have been made available for the S22 Ultra. I'm sure it's a capable device and these features, these missing features on the S23 series and the S22 series can definitely run without any issues on these two devices. Maybe Samsung wants to uh, differentiate uh, these devices by reserving some of the features for the latest Galaxy S24 Ultra. Of course, we can understand its business. They want to keep the latest as the best device. Uh, so we are missing a few features on the predecessors, the S23 as well as the S22 series. Keeping these issues aside, I'm really happy with the One UI 6.1 update on the S22 series. Uh, the S22 Ultra, which I have with me, is running really smoothly without any issues. And uh, I would suggest you to go ahead and do a factory reset after the update. Uh, before resetting, you do have an option to back up all your uh, data on the phone. When you go to reset section, you get an option temporary cloud backup wherein you will be able to back up up to 30 GB of uh, data uh, from your phone. So you can back up all your settings, all your application data. If you want to back up your gallery, you can do that as well. Up to 30 GB you can back up. So use this feature which is available on your phone and uh, back up your device and do a factory reset 
to make your phone run really smoothly definitely it's going to help guys so go ahead do a factory reset if you have been using the phone for quite a while now and i also suggest you to factory reset your phone at least once in a year nowadays factory reset is not a big deal uh, you can do it in a jiffy without any uh, issues so do that at least once in a year to keep the phone running smoothly now i'm also expecting the security patch for may 2024 for the s22 ultra which i haven't got it yet i think some of uh, you guys have already got the update let me know in the comment section whether you have got the update or not as soon as i get it i will keep you guys posted now that's all i want to share with you guys you let me know what do you think about uh, the one ui 6.1 upgrade on your s22 ultra or any of the s22 series or s21 series that you have uh, drop a comment and let me know your thoughts how is your phone running uh, is it smooth uh, is there any status or lags uh, if you're not happy about the features that are missing drop a comment and share your thoughts and if there are any additional features missing do drop a comment and let me know that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys this is a quick review of the s22 ultra after the one ui 6.1 update thanks for watching i hope you have already subscribed to the channel if you haven't done already go ahead hit the subscribe button to become a part of apex community to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye